Happy Monday, everyone. I realize it's been a couple of days, if not maybe more, like a week or so since we've baked anything, and um, it's just been a it's just been a busy week um, with birthday parties and stuff for my nieces. So uh, for my niece's birthday that's coming up this week, I, I am going to make uh, some chocolate chip cookies to bring over. So this is just a regular recipe. There's this is not vegan. This is not dairy free. Uh, this is just a regular recipe, but it's actually one of the best ones I've come across. It is, uh, the, ch the cookies come out so moist and, uh, I don't know, this is just the best recipe that I've come across for chocolate chip cookies. So, um, hope you're all enjoying your, enjoyed your weekend and happy Monday. So let's get going and make some chocolate chip cookies. Um, the first thing I did is I just sifted one <clears throat> and three quarters cups of flour. Uh, ideally, you should use a mixture of bread flour and all-purpose flour, like maybe one cup of bread flour and three quarters cup all-purpose, or vice versa. <clears throat> but um, fortunately, I only have all-purpose flour at home when I decided to do this. So um, if you have bread flour, I encourage you to use a mixture of flours. It will give it a better texture. Uh, but so um, I'm just using regular all-purpose flour just for this and uh, I sifted it in so um, to that I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder I'm sorry baking soda use baking soda instead of powder for this recipe I'm going to put in two teaspoons of kosher salt Okay, now the next thing we are going to do is uh, we're just going to give this a little, a little whisk to incorporate these dry ingredients. Okay. But now what you're going to want to do with this recipe ahead of time, which I started before, is you're going to want to brown a cup of butter. So what you do is you just take um, an entire cup of butter, put it in a saucepan on the stove top and bring it to, for, you know, melt it. And then after it melts, you're going to want to bring it to a boil and then stirring it occasionally with like a wooden spoon. You're going to want to keep boiling it until you see it turn a brown color. That's browning it. What that will do is release some of the boil out some of the waters and you're just left with the um, butter flavor which gives it a more natural like a nuttier flavor um, it just makes the butter so much better for baking so what you want to do is brown that but then when you're, you're gonna see after you brown it is that you do boil off some of it so you will have less than a cup left over so when you're done with them um, you know when you see it cool down a to like room temperature because you don't want to use this fresh off the stove top when it's boiling. Um, it will give the cookies like a greasier texture. So what you're going to want to do is just let it come to like room temperature and then bring it back up to a full cup. You can add water. Um, I just added like it, it was only like a little bit that evaporated so I just added like a drop of buttermilk which will give like a little more of a texture to it but um, that's all you're going to do with that. So this is still um, ready to go. But the next thing we are going to add in is our sugars. So for this to give the cookies like the best um, sweetness where it's not overly sweet, but it gives it a nice chewy, we're going to use a combination of sugars. So we're going to put in one cup of brown sugar and we're going to put in a half a cup of white sugar. And um, what do I do with that whisk? Uh, where did I put that whisk? Oh, here it is. Let's just break up the brown sugar. And once again, just give it a little bit of a whisk just to get some of these dry ingredients. But we're going to end up running it through the um, hand mixer. So uh, don't go too crazy on this. So now that we have all the dry ingredients here, what we're going to do next is we're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. 
Um, I always use the pure vanilla extract instead of that imitation. It gives it a nicer taste. So we add two teaspoons of that in. And we are going to add in one egg. And then we are going to add in an egg yolk. So, um, Um, you'll see a bunch of different methods on how to um, try the screen here on how to separate the yolk from the white from the yolk. I find the best method is just literally by using your hand like that. Okay, so now we have the egg in there. Um, we're going to add in. Um, a teaspoon of um, espresso powder. And the espresso powder is going to give it a nice flavor. Okay, so we have a teaspoon of espresso powder mixed in here. <clears throat> now, um, I'm just going to give this a quick little mix up. So, cover your ears. Okay, and now we're going to pour in the butter, and this is where everything's going to come together nicely. Okay, now that that's in, and you don't have to go too crazy with making sure it's mixed because we're going to give it a nice little mix right now by hand with a spoon after we add in our chocolate chips. So, okay, so we have all that added in. Now for this cookie, I like to use um, a mixture of chocolate chips and um, actual like chocolate, baking chocolate. So I'm just going to pour in about a little more than a half a cup. It can never be too chocolatey. Uh, about half a cup of um, chocolate chips. And then I'm also going to add in about five ounces of dark chocolate, uh, baking chocolate. And I'm going to give this a nice little mix now to combine all the chocolate. And now this is where you'll get the rest of any kind of um, sugar or flour or anything that didn't fully incorporate, you know, scrape the walls. And just bring everything together. And I can already tell you these smell fantastic as it is. Browning the butter really does make a world of difference in the baking. So make sure you don't skip that step. Um, just do it a little bit ahead of time and they'll be ready. The butter will be browned and ready to use when you're ready for it. So these cookies have... Um, the dough has already come together. These are ready to go. So um, what I will do now is um, preheat the oven to 350. Um, I will pause the video so that way I can get a little bit of cleanup going on here. And I'm going to scoop these out into like tablespoon servings on a 
parchment paper cookie sheet. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and put them on the parchment paper, get straightened up here, get everything ready to go, and then I'll come right back and we'll bake them. But um, ideally, if you have the patience and the time, what you really should do is um, scoop these out onto parchment paper on a baking sheet and then let them sit in the refrigerator. Uh, an hour would be great, ideally overnight. If you can let them sit in the refrige overnight, it's going to give your cookies just that little bit extra taste. But um, these are still going to be delicious as is, so I'm not really too worried about the waiting part because I would like to wrap up the video tonight because tomorrow is my niece's party. So. I want these done by then, and I don't know if I'll have time to finish them on video tomorrow. So just to let you guys see what they are going to look like all completed and finished after baked, I will put them in the oven today. But like I said, in a perfect world, let them sit overnight if you can. So um, in the meantime, grab yourself some milk and get ready for some of the most amazing chocolate chip cookies you will ever have. I guarantee you once you use this recipe, whichever one you've been using up till now, you're going to want to replace with this one. I mean, this dough comes together beautifully, and this smells already absolutely amazing. So, um, I'll be back in a few. I'll have this place cleaned up a little bit, and we'll have the cookies all spread out on a cookie sheet and ready to go into the oven. Um, if you're not going to wait the overnight and you're cooking along or you're baking along with us, um, Make sure your oven's preheated, 350, and I'll be right back to show you these completed, or these on the um, cookie sheet. Okay, so back temporarily, um, I have cleaned up. I have um, one uh, cookie sheet ready to go. I have one in the oven right now, so um, I will slip swap them in a little while and when they are all completed and done both batches i will um come back and show you what they look like finished and i hope you're making them as well i'm going along um and if you've tried making anything that we've baked together in the past um and you've tried making it please drop a comment let us all know how it came out and as always if anybody's got any comments or um, tips, suggestions, questions, please drop a comment and um, feel free to ask anything and share your opinions on anything. That's what this is all about. Uh, you know, let's get a community going of people sharing ideas and opinions and making suggestions and giving each other tips and pointers and helping us all become better bakers and helping us all, um, all make something different that we haven't tried before, helping us all make something that you know we never thought maybe we could do before um i know baking can be intimidating and a lot of things you may see in like a pastry cafe or um stuff that i've baked for pastry cafes they look they look intricate in person but a lot of it's not as hard as you may think so um never be overwhelmed or intimidated by baking and if you have any questions about anything you'd like to see specifically uh, please do feel free to um, ask and I'll be sure to do that. I know that somebody had um, asked to see vegan chocolate chip cookies. So um, for the lack of time, uh, I did regular ones today because I need I want to bring them to a birthday party. But um, maybe tomorrow night when I get in or um, possibly towards the end of the week, um, I will do that one because I have a great recipe that I'd like to share with you all for... Um, the most amazing vegan chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. So please, um, that should be coming up in a few days. And um, like I said, if anybody has any requests, please um, feel free to ask and we will certainly get to them. Um, I will share the recipe with this, with, with this one that we just made right now in the description below. So um, if you are watching but you are not trying and going along with me as we go, please do try them and let us all know how they came out. Um, the mixture of sugars and flours in this one and using chocolate chunks as well as chocolate chips i honestly think these are probably one of the best chocolate chip cookies i've had and i've been making chocolate chip cookies for 30 years now um trying all different recipes all different combinations of flours all different combinations of sugars and um this one is uh my favorite i just wish i had the bread 
flower at home today when I decided to do this, but um, I'm going to go check the oven and get these ones ready to go back in or go in, take the other ones out. So we'll be back in a little while. In the meantime, um, hope you're relaxing. And if you have any questions or if you think of anything, please feel free to comment below. Be right back. Okay, so we are back. Um, both sets of cookies are now out of the oven and they absolutely look and smell amazing. Um, you can really see the nice um, rich color you get when you combine the sugars. Uh, it's not overpowering dark like if you were to use pure uh, dark brown sugar, but it's uh, like the perfect color you want to see in a chocolate chip cookie. Um, they're nice and soft and once they cool down a bit I'll transfer them to a cooling rack, but they smell fantastic. Uh, they are going to they're nice and moist and they're going to be a uh, perfect consistency due to the combination of the sugars and melting the butter. It gives it such a nice um, nutty smell and a that bakery type of taste you get out of a chocolate chip cookie. So uh, please do comment if you um, try them, let us know. If you have any questions, um, as always, ask. Uh, if this is your first time checking out this video or any of the videos that we have posted or baked together, um, please do check out some of the other ones as well. We've done a number of uh, fun stuff around St. Patrick's Day. We've done a number of healthier stuff, um, healthier option cookies. We've done some vegan baking. Um, so please do feel free to comment and ask anything you'd like to know. And I also do encourage you, if this is your first time checking it out, or even if this is not your first time but you haven't done so already, um, subscribe to the videos. And, um, you know, let's help build this community of videos and um, baking together and with your help and, you know, some subscribers. Maybe we can start getting some dialogue going on some of the videos we do together. And, um, you know, the more comments, the more questions, the more tips we get, the more this can grow and evolve into something we can all benefit from and something that we can all enjoy. So uh, please do um, subscribe, comment if you'd like, like some of the videos if you'd like. And let's see what we can do with this. Let's see, um, you know, let's have some fun with this channel and let's get some fun baking done. And I will be back in a day or two to do those vegan chocolate chip cookies I would like to do with you all. And um, in the meantime, please um, enjoy your time, enjoy your baking, and let us know which one of these you've tried or if it's just something you've tried on your own. If there is um, something you add to your chocolate chip cookies that we haven't or a tip or you think your chocolate chip cookies are um, taste better or different you know please let us know what you do you know we, we, we're all welcome to grow and try new things together and bake together so uh, please do let us know if there is something that you try that you think um, makes a difference you know makes it better makes it you know different or whatever it's we're all open to uh, trying new things here so um Please do, and uh, I hope to see you all soon, and um, that's all for now. So, um, happy baking, and um, like I said, just um, subscribe and start leaving some comments, and we'll get some talking going on.